This is a little difficult to wind up, but I did. Now. So there were discs before there were cylinders? No, cylinders were first. I cylinders were so. 1878. Oh, I didn't know that. That was that Edison, 1878. Okay. Then Emil Berliner came off with this record in 1890, uh, 1892. Okay. And he, the, the reason why he got a patent was because the cylinders were recorded on wax. The cylinders are recorded on wax. The older ones, got The it. older ones. The new ones were the, the blue amber rolls. The blue amber different. rolls were the commercial property in the 1900s, right? The, the, Plastic. Right. Yeah. They were okay. made of a different process. However, he, with shellac records, okay. he, his process of recording was dripping acid. He dripped acid on the record while it's recording. And the acid would just soften the, the um, shellac enough for it to record the sound. Oh my God, okay. So he got a patent on it. Yeah. He went to Edison to sell it, and Edison's so cheap he didn't want to have anything to do with him. And this is the company that put Edison out of business. You know that. What's the name of it again? Berliner. Berliner. Okay. He, Mr. Berliner went in business with Elvis Johnson, and it became Elvis Johnson. This is, he was a machine shop. This, it's still there in Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. And he became part owner with, with the Berliner. Berliner was a, a German inventor of many things. This was one of them. Okay. And so he went in partners with Ellis Johnson, and they only made maybe a couple of hundred million dollars a piece because Caruso, every time he made a record for, for the Victor Record Company, right. he would sell a million records. Right. He would make a quarter a record. They would maybe make a half a dollar a record. You mm -hmm. see? So they would. Whatever he made, if he was a multi multi millionaire on record sales, they were ten times richer than he was. By 1929, they were so wealthy that the owner, Elvis Johnson, owned a boat that was about 130 feet long. This boat, yeah, and he didn't want any part of this company anymore. And they sold it to RCA Radiola. Yeah, they gave it to him. They gave a break. They gave them a break. They sold them for like two hundred million dollars. So, nice, nice and that was during the depression. Yeah. Oh, so let's listen to what people okay. heard in 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 uh, uh, eighteen ninety five. Eighteen ninety five. There we go. Here is Emil Berliner, German-American inventor, with the model of the first device that played flat disc records. This video was made possible by the founder of the Enrico Caruso Museum of America, Aldo Mancusi.